Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into today's video, I said this in the last video so I'm gonna have to repeat myself a little bit. I've been talking to another YouTuber, Angelica Oles, about this problem that YouTube is unsubscribing active subscribers for some reason. At first I thought, nah, my content's just not for everyone, it's a little bit of shit, maybe people just really don't wanna hear about Made in Chelsea. There has been a problem for the last like month or so with YouTube pushing content out to subscribers properly for a few channels. Like I said, I've been talking to another YouTuber about this, who has also in turn spoken to other YouTubers. So it's not a conspiracy, we're not just being crazy. And also I did find a comment, pop it up here, saying that they had been unsubscribed from my channel. So if you're new here and you enjoy the following video, then please make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more. If you're old here, but you've noticed that you've been unsubscribed, then please resubscribe. And engagement is really important at the moment. It will help push my videos out more. Oh yeah, turn on post notifications. Oh God, I can't, I'm too much of a boomer for all this. I can't remember this stuff. Like, why are they making it so difficult? You have to turn on your post notifications so they actually see when I'm uploading, which is whenever I feel like it. And make sure you comment, you know, just for that engagement. So at least half of my subscribers actually see the videos I do. Now for today's video, we're gonna talk about Jeffree Star because there was this article that came out about him three weeks ago, but there was this article that came out recently about him, I think in the last week. And then also Shane Dawson was blah, blah, blah. This is just stuff I find interesting. So I wanna talk about it a little bit. So let's do it the other way around, actually. I'm gonna go for the newest news first because the stuff about the leaked messages, as it's a few weeks old, you've probably seen. So let's go for the newest news first. Jeffree Star is sued by Anna Nicole Smith's estate over beauty items he marketed with her name and image. And I think I saw this article recently because I know that Tati Westbrook is being sued and also in turn suing someone. So this is on the Daily Mail. Estate claims he unlawfully used her image and name to promote his goods. Estate says Star named a lipstick, lip liner and eyeliner lines out a late model. Smith died in February of 2007. Anna Nicole Smith's estate has sued beauty influencer Jeffree Star, claiming he unlawfully used her likeness to promote his goods. The estate for the late celebrity who died in February of 2007 claims Star, 34, violated intellectual property rights when he lifted Smith's name, image and likeness to advertise for sale and sell its different commercial products according to court docs filed in LA Superior Court, The Blast reported on Sunday. I mean, for someone who prides himself on being such a good businessman, how do you make these types of mistakes? Why don't you have any advice? Surely someone would advise that you can't really do that. The estate cited products on sale from Jeffree Star Cosmetics in such as a lipstick, lip liner and eyeliner lines called Anna Nicole and images of the late model on the ads and product. Yeah, you can't, you can't do, you can't use a celebrity to promote your stuff if they aren't sure, right? No, I think even I know that. Star touted a lip liner eyeliner as a top selling all time offering that sold out online according to court docs. Smith's estate told the court that Star never received any type of authorization for her likeness, nor did the defendant pay or offer to pay plaintiff compensation for the commercial use of such rights, let alone compensation commensurate, 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 with the substantial commercial value of using Anna Nicole Smith name, image and likeness. In their legal filing, the estate for Smith is requesting Star turn over the profits he made from the sales of items linked to Smith. Good luck. Star has made headlines in recent months, including a public split from boyfriend Andre Marhold that became nasty when he claimed that Marhold had stolen a collection of bags he owned, accusation that Marhold denied. Star, in September, explained the course of events that led to the split. Oh, I don't, sorry, I don't really care about him splitting. Like, was that even a real relationship? Wasn't there lots of differing opinions or... God knows. One of the top comments on the Daily Mail, a very short article, says, he didn't create this line of makeup alone. There are always legal teams involved. How on earth did anyone think they would get away with this? Right? How did he figure this would work out? You can't just randomly use a person's name and likeness without permission. Surely he would know, so. And recently, Shane Dawson came back on Instagram with a series of photos celebrating the one year anniversary of the conspiracy palette with Jeffree Star. And I didn't realize that I still followed him on Instagram. So when I saw it on his stories, it read to me as though Jeffrey had got a hold of his phone because it was very, you know what I mean? Very, ooh, Jeffrey, I love you so much, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, so then there's this article. 
which I'm sure a bunch of people spoke about a few weeks ago, but I didn't notice it a few weeks ago. It's from Insider. Leaked Jeffree Star messages show he deleted more than 400 crude tweets as he accused rival YouTuber James Charles of sexual misconduct. Star and his assistant didn't respond to Insider's request for comment. Jeffree Star deleted more than 400 old, potentially offensive tweets in the days after he accused rival YouTuber and beauty guru James Charles of sexual misconduct, according to direct messages between Star and a former fan that were viewed by Insider. Star is controversial, more than 44 million followers across all platforms. Jeffree Star Cosmetics has released some of the most sought after makeup products over the past five years. Ruck da 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 da, all stuff that we know about already. Insider learned of the coordinated efforts to delete the tweets after a former fan of Star's shared a series of direct messages with Star that appeared to show him helping Star identify which tweets to delete. Why would you do that with a fan? Why, why wouldn't you just get like your assistant or whatever? In exchange for his assistance, Star promised in the leaked messages but later rescinded tickets to one of Star's masterclass events. Oh, so smart. Hey, if you help me out, fan of mine, right? And this is DMs where anyone can screenshot this. If you help me out, I'll give you something. And then you go back on that. Like, all the people that are always like, oh, well, Jeffree Star's obviously a smart, savvy businessman. I don't think he is. I think he's stupid. I think all these people that get caught out on these types of things are stupid. <laughs> That's quite mean. Am I wrong though? Insider, so the former fan wants to remain anonymous. In some of the deleted tweets, Star brags about his sexual conquest with straight men, sexualized a straight minor. Was that about Justin Bieber when he was a minor? And joked about wanting to be raped by straight men. The former fan told Insider pointed to screenshots of 22 of the since deleted tweets that had circulated on social media. The former fan says those screenshots were how he located Star's tweets before sending them to the celebrity. Insider confirmed the exchange began one day after Star had accused Charles of being a predator and a danger to society. He is self-aware though, he does know what he's doing. Like to have the self-awareness to call someone else a predator, a danger to society, and then the very next day try to cover your tracks. Jeffree Star is very sneaky and shady. I don't think he's like this incredibly intelligent businessman like his sycophants say. But I take back what I said a second ago, he's not totally stupid. Okay, the article goes on about, you know, the Westbrook, James Charles drama. We know about all of this. Jeffrey is saying, I have a voice memo, I have a voice memo again, we know about all of this. Again, we know, yep, Charles lost almost three million YouTube subscribers. Star attempted to do damage control of his own, the direct messages show. My old humour doesn't translate these days. Star writes the fan referencing his old tweets. And here it is, the fan sending the tweets. You're the best. Teehee, <laughs> you're welcome, I'll keep searching them. Also, do you know how much VIP tickets will be for the Manchester show as I need to book a hotel and train tickets for the day? I'll be able to give you two free tickets. Will you look at that person's account? They have screenshots of other shit trying to spin the narrative and make it seem like something else. They included a tweet that says, who else wonders how big Justin Bieber's mm -mm, is when Justin Bieber was 16 and Star was 24. Over a dozen of the tweets are ones that include the word rape, including, did your dad rape you? Is that why you need attention? I'm getting like Vietnam flashbacks. The internet a long time ago was this harsh. This isn't in defense of Jeffree Star, but this type of language was when social media first started coming about on the internet, when there were like forums and such. I mean, you can still see it now, but I kind of think that the internet is like a lot nicer nowadays. And it, well, I stay off Twitter, so that helps. But sometimes it takes me by surprise when I see people being proper arseholes on things like Instagram, because I just don't really like see it that much. But yeah, on MySpace especially, people would kind of, would kind of talk like this. Yeah, MySpace flashbacks like saying really harsh things. At least four of the tweets appear to be about a star having sex with straight boys and straight men, including I like straight men, not gay boys, baby, and straight guy 2365 down, ha 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 ha, faints. Others include, I've had so many straight boys naked that I think I deserve a lifetime achievement award. I wonder who's down to fuck tonight, straight boys, where you at? My revenge on you will not kill you. It will make you want to kill yourself. Oh, he's so edgy. On June 16, 2019, Star asked the fan to email his full name and number to Star's assistant. The fan told Insider he emailed Star's assistant and asked if they could also receive the VIP goodie bag marketed at $450 value. 
And then Jeffrey said, Hey, a little shocked at your entitlement when emailing my assistant, the energy feels really ugly and after all the horrible stuff I've been through over the past few weeks, I don't want that negative energy in my class, so God bless you and hope that we can meet another time when you don't expect so much from someone. You deleted a few hundred tweets for me and you're acting like I'm supposed to give you thousands of dollars of free makeup and all I promised was a ticket and to come say hi. Really sad. And then he blocked him. On one hand, Jeffrey, like, it's Jeffrey Star and he's always a jerk. But on the other hand, it's a little bit cheeky, isn't it? To be given like free tickets or something and then be like, can I have the goodie bag that's worth 450? It is a bit cheeky. Star and his assistant didn't respond to Insider's request for comment. Ridiculous, Jeffree Star just can't stay out of trouble. Every month, once bi-weekly, once every two weeks, there's always something. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then do remember to like, comment, subscribe. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.